This is DMG and we're going to be talking about how to paint water effects. Okay, so painting simple water effects. Uh, this is a method I uh, procured from DM Scotty on the DM's craft uh, with some slight modifications. So what I do is I take whatever is going to be in the water, uh, which in this case are the pylons from the bridge, and I just mark out where that's going to be. So I just had the bridge on there, measured around, and then now I'm just going to create where those pylons will actually be in the water, double check the placement. Now I just start to draw concentric circles or spirals out from those points so that will form the ripples. These are merely as a guide to where I'm going to place hot glue which will form the actual ripples itself. So I just start to make um, you know, just lines as to where each ripple will be and so that I can see more or less what the pattern is going to look like before I actually apply the glue. So then get the glue nice and hot and start from the small areas where the uh, pylons will go in or rocks or whatever you may have in the water and uh, just start to go around in circles. So I, um, when I'm finished with the glue I just sort of dab it down there and you will see there will be a few wisps that appear and basically just to get rid of those you wait till the, the glue dries and you rub over it with your fingers and those wisps will come off far easier. So I've just sped it up a bit just to show you and as it going around in the concentric circles and following where all the lines are to get that sort of rippled water look. So these will form the actual ripples of the water but the, you then you use the paint to generate the color as we'll see now and uh, you know it's a relatively simple process. Okay, so I've just put the bridge on there to check that that's working. That looks pretty good. I also created this broken bridge as well, as you saw in the previous video. And here you can see that I've made a rushing effect. So the so I use the glue just going towards the middle and rushing over the broken bits of wood. So I've base painted it as in video three and in video four and five, that's how I did the stonework. And then I'm going to apply just straight blue onto, onto the tile and use boots of speed just to speed it up so you can see it being done and um, you will see some of the undercoat does start to show through so just give it a good good coating uh, don't worry about the undercoat going through because we're going to do several layers of paint this is merely just to get the first prime of blue and uh, just give it a good uh, good mix around there so then into the blue straight in again we're going to mix some white and uh, mix it up with your brush and then go over while the others are still wet and start to swirl it around just to get a sort of a swirl look in the water. Um, again we will go over this again so it doesn't need to be a hundred percent perfect it's just to get the effect going. So I've let it dry and uh, now I'm going to water down the same blue we had there and begin to apply the water down like light cyan sort of color to the tile. Remember this was allowed to, to dry. So again boots of speed just to speed it up and again you can see now we're not able to see too much of that undercoat underneath the tile anymore and uh, we're just building up layers and layers and you know, cleaning off the brush. So now I just use a sponge to sponge off the excess water and uh, uh, then we can continue on with the next. So I'm going to put some more blue back in there and then I'm just going to put little patches of blue in from the, the deep areas where the pylons will be and just circle the brush out again just to have the effect of sort of a, a, the shadowy darker areas in the water where the objects may be underwater so that's where the pylons will be and uh, I'm just using boots of speed again 
and uh, then we, what we'll do is we'll apply paint down the sides where the walls are again just to simulate what the um, you know the, the depth of the water and the, also that there there is you know wall underneath the water as well just to give it that sort of 3d look on a 2d surface this is the beauty of 2.5d is you can make something look more three-dimensional than it actually is uh, especially if you're if you're doing a three layer uh, um, rule like I do so you don't go above three layers um, very handy to do little bits of shading and things like that to give it a better look so in that vein I now just add a little dab of black into the where the pylons are going to be and just swirl it around again just to sort of add some depth to those areas so in the first one I did there it probably needs a little bit more blue just to take it back again it's a bit too gray so I'll just uh, wash the black off the brush and then just go over it again with a little bit of, of blue just to um, bring it back again so you see it's starting to take shape now um, it's you get the area of the water it's still not quite there so what we're going to do now is just let that dry it is dried now and with uh, boots of speed I'm just adding white to a wider brush and I'm just going to drag that over the ripples just to sort of bring them out into the foreground so that it really shows off the ripples that are there and uh, that's what really sells it so I've allowed that to dry and then you've got the bridge so you can see you know it's a nice looking sort of effect with the uh, pylons there so now to attach the bridge I um, just add hot glue to where the pylons should be just be careful the hot glue is hot uh, hence the name <laughs> and uh, um, you need to sort of do this relatively quickly because you don't want the glue to to harden so the hot glue must be quite hot so let the hot glue gun stand for a while so that it does take a time to cool that will allow you to do all four and then place the bridge of course you know with different different things you know that may be a, a different way that you do it um, but yeah just bear in mind how quickly the hot glue will actually harden so um, that hardens very very fast and there we have the bridge so what we do now is uh, we're going to grab some um, uh, high gloss varnish this is a water based high gloss varnish this is similar to what DM Scotty uses and I'm just going to apply that directly over the over the paintwork um, and that will dry to a, quite a glossy wet look now I've left uh, I didn't do this prior to attaching the bridge merely because I don't need to apply it onto the whole tile so I'm basically not using a, as much um, and it's not really going to reflect underneath the bridge anyway um, but also just you know that's the way that I do it so I, uh, I also as you can see paint um, just the first sort of tile segments and the edges of the bridge with that as well so that just gives it a look of like water has been splashing over the edges as you can see as the reflection here so water has been splashing over the edges of the of the stonework and the actual bridge and you can see in these close-ups sort of how the uh, the gloss effect is working and the, and the detail on the bridge so that's how I paint uh, water effects now as you can see I've done some extra bits here and uh, how to do that is for people who know how to find uh, secret passages. So if you like the video, like button. Otherwise, don't do anything else. And you can check out the Facebook page where we post regular pictures about things we've been up to. And there's a website called thedmg.info, which carries on about all kinds of other stuff as well. Now, that's pretty much it.